Oh, I wasn't ready! C7 Viper! <laughs>good morning and happy birthday today we have one boa to open but it came with two boxes that's this many we've gotten two boxes in one boa before and that usually signifies that there is a helmet of some sort last time we got a helmet well we have two we are one mystery box we get two mystery boxes it's a big helmet this time i'm thinking we got a helmet but is it a cool helmet probably not oh. but there's only one way to find out and that way is to buy an x-ray machine put it up to the side of the cardboard box look into it with our magic x-ray machine and find out what we got right or we could just you know open it and today to open it we're using this what is this a barrel bag but it's special special because i'm holding it and because it's a c7 viper barrel bag and this barrel bag can be yours all you have to do is go to c7viper.com spend five buckaroos and you can use this to be safe at your local airsoft field what are you waiting for the end of this video you're right very smart finish this video then go purchase your own barrel bag add a patch while you're at it guess we better open the helmet box first please take this one away Okay. We are ready to open with the barrel bag. I don't know how we're gonna do it. <clears throat> Didn't open. Didn't think this one through, did I? No. The barrel bag button is actually working. Here, hold that please. It's a very valuable barrel bag. We're opening up our first box. What does that say? The Medieval Iron Warrior Helmet. Oh, hold on. First we've got paper and a five of Hera Arms CQR. As you can see, we have a um, Joe, Joe Fett Helmet. I'm not big into the, the wars. Let's open this Fett Helmet. Oh, it's full of stuff like additional gazintas. It's got a nice chin strap. It's got mesh on the front. But also includes a replacement plastic shield. Oh, okay. So yes, we have a plastic shield instead of the mesh. It does have a visor that we can vise on there. <laughs> it's got padding for your dome so you don't get a headache while you're wearing your Boba Fett helmet. Speaking of wear, <clears throat> Whoa! I'm feeling fantastic. It's kind of heavy on my brain. All right, <clears throat> you wear it. This is the way. You got a little head. <laughs> my eyes are in the helmet. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> it's not meant for little head. <laughs> well, with the padding, maybe, but I, uh, probably not. All right, so far we've got this helmet. I like it. it Feels like it's still on my head though. And now we gotta get into the big box, which is hopefully an airsoft gun. Fingies crossed. Time to open. That'll work. This barrel bag is tough and it held up to an unboxing. Get out of here. Time to open. First we got the usual paper. Oh no. Another Jelly Boy. And this colorway is one that I don't think we have. I'm gonna have to actually use one of these sometime soon. And what else? <gasps> another junk. I mean, another cool thing. Wow. Who's a spring? Is this a springer? They usually are, yeah. It says FN Scar L single shot spring power action. So it is a mini size scar. But it's white. As in Stormtrooper. And just like a Stormtrooper, if you use this, you won't hit anything. Hold on. We've got more targets. We got one, two, three, four, five. There's got to be another one. They wouldn't just do five. Oh, six. Number six. Stop peeking. <laughs> we got six metal targets. We've got a ton of these. I give these away. And now the grand finale. There's one item left in the box. Here we go. Ooh. Lifting it up. Take the box, please. It is a Thompson, also known as a Tommy gun. 
You know it's good because it's covered in cellophane. It's also got tissue paper. <gasps> Achoo! Bless you. A poison nerds. A charger that we do not want to use. These will overcharge your battery. It's a fire hazard. A sling that you should never use because these are very cheap. If you do not recall, look back at my swordfish video where I dropped my AEG in a puddle because the sling points were cheap. <clears throat> That's why we don't trust the sling points. A battery that is probably good to get you going, but not good for in-game. Mm. This is to plink in the backyard. I wouldn't use that. And then we have the airsoft gun. This is a heavy one. Let's put the drum mag in and make it extra heavier. Since this is a Star Wars themed box, I don't really understand what this has to do with Star Wars. No, it's got a good beef to it. It's got a good beef <laughs> to it. It's very beefy is what she means. This is pretty heavy. This is the Chicago typewriter Tommy gun. So it's used by Chewbacca. Nope. It's giving Home Alone more than Star Wars. I'll give you till the count of 10. I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property. This is by Cybergun. It has a drum mag that you wind like this. It is mostly metal though, except for the fake wood. Everything else feels like metal. Even the drum mag is metal. Let's check what it's wired to. It is rear wired to small Tamiya. And while it looks like it would have a giant battery compartment, there's a hunk of something like foam stuck in it in here and that drastically limits your battery compartment to this little section. So you think you have a huge battery compartment when really you do not. And this is tough to get open and closed. You take this and you swivel it and lock it into place. So now I guess we gotta go outside and shoot this bad boy. Okay, we're outside with our new Tommy gun and we're gonna shoot it. I've got the drum mag all wound up with two threes. I got a lipo in the stock, let's do this. Full auto time. Gotta wind it. <laughs> it just makes me feel super cool. Like a stormtrooper. Not really. <laughs> Let's storm our way back inside. All right, this shoot's pretty cool. Plus, everyone loves a World War II replica. I just don't understand what this has to do with Star Wars. This was supposed to be a May the Force Be With You box. And all we really got that was Star Wars themed was the helmet. I don't really get the Thompson Star Wars connection and the white spring scar. Just it being white is very loosely based in the Star Wars realm. Or correct us if we're wrong. Yeah, maybe I'm not picking up on something here. But to me, it's just kind of like, eh, there's some stuff. Pretend it's Star Wars. But now we got to look up what the total value is on the box. Because if the theme's not there, maybe the value is. So we've got the grand total here for our value. We spent 209 on the whole box. The Thompson was 194 the helmet was 115 the spring scar was $30 and the gel blaster was about 40 that gives us a grand total of 379 but I'm not feeling it this doesn't feel like a cohesive box and most of the stuff that was extra is not that great the spring scar is not very competitive it's only really good for plinking at targets which they did give you I would say the value was decent but the box as a whole, maybe not so much. We did get more than our money's worth, but was it good value? This was indeed a base box. 29 other people got the same box as us, and I do believe this was the base box with the least bonus value. Take that how you will. More proof that yes, we do get the worst things and do not always win. Don't always win. We hardly oh, yeah. ever. Actually, I th really. You're right. I think we've only ever really gotten two very good BOAs. Maybe three. And we spent a dumb amount of money Ooh, on them. Could have bought a house. <laughs> All right, that is it for this unboxing. But before you go, you better answer the question she's about to ask. Because if not, you don't want to see her when she's angry or hangry. What is today's fabulous question to prove that everyone has watched thus far? Today's question is, what is your favorite 
fandom. Are you a Star Wars person? Harry Potter? Star Trek? What do you like? And if you don't like anything, that's cool too. Bonus points to the first person who answers the C7 Viper fandom. Mine will have to be Tremors. I feel I have been denied critical need to know information. I feel I was denied critical need to know information. All right, everybody, I gotta go take this back to the 40s where it came from. So, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like it if we made you laugh, cause we'll do it again. Find us on the social medias. I post exclusive things over on TikTok. TikTok's a cool place to be. It is, it's where all the hip kids are hanging out or something like that. <laughs> and she is over streaming on the Twitch. Yeah. I hope you all have a great dinner. <laughs>